Hello everybody, once again, Console Truth here. Uh, this video is going to be like some of my last ones, last couple want my out. Actually, you know what, no, because I'm not going to do any kind of hair vids or anything. This video, of course, is about the impending release of Super Street Fighter 4. I know some of you aren't really fighting games out there, but back in the day during the Super NES and uh, back when the arcades were big, I loved fighting games. Now, was I really great at them? Fuck no, I got my ass kicked on a regular basis. But I always had fun, and I started getting good because I played people that were better than I was. Now, uh, hopefully if things are going well, you can see some Street Fighter 4 clips here in the background. And of course, it launches this Tuesday, the 27th, I believe. And you can pretty much pick it up anywhere. Now, one thing I love that Capcom did is because there's only a couple new fighters, some tweaks and stuff like that. They're releasing it for only US dollar amount, $39.99. So basically 40 bucks, which you gotta love. Unlike Microsoft and ODST, which only added a couple of new things and they sold it for a full $60. Shame on you, Microsoft. Shame on you. So props to Capcom for that. Also, one thing I picked up, because I don't really like using the tournament sticks, I've never been really comfortable with the arcade control style with the stick and the button layout and everything. I was more so brought up playing with the, uh, like on the Super NES using the control pads. Now, to me, the greatest pad ever that I was able to use for Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter 2 and all that for those things was that ASCII pad or the ASCII pad, however you want to call it. Awesome controller for it. The uh, Super NES D pads were probably some of the best on the market. So, actually, I went up and I picked up this little beauty here. Don't know how well you can see it. Once again, I've got 2,000 watts of lights on me. I can't really see too well. And this is the new Mad Cats Super Street Fighter 4 control pad for the Xbox 360. Uh, I was going to pick one up for the PS3, but I can actually use the PS3's pad with no problem. Now as far as this here, the uh, stick here on the side is actually very responsive. I can pull off combos, I can pull off special moves without any issues. It's just uh, more so getting used to the six buttons here on the face, but I've just about got that down. So. Awesome controller. Pick it up if you don't like using the fight sticks. I highly recommend it. And it was only 40 bucks. Now, even though I say I fucking hate GameStop, none of the Best Buys or any of the places where I live is doing a midnight lunch. And since I don't go to work on Tuesday until 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I plan on being at a midnight lunch at GameStop to pick up my copy of Super Street Fighter 4. Now, if you'd like and you'd be interested, I plan on taking the camera down to shoot some of the festivities. Uh, knowing my luck, though, when I go, there won't be hardly anything going on. But there could be a couple different tournaments there, and I'll go ahead and film that and put that up. So, just got to say, I'm really excited about this. I know some of my viewers out there are excited about this. Um, and it's really great, too. On the fighting game side, because it's different from first person shooters, they haven't, even though they were big back in the day, they haven't quite got up to the same level that first person shooters have. And let's face it, first person shooters have kind of gotten old and boring. Um, well, fighting games do have their problems as well. I gotta say, since you're fighting one on one, I actually like it a lot better. Now, there is one thing that pisses me off about fighting games, especially Street Fighter in particular. Myself, I use Ken and Ryu as my main fighters, but there are those Ken and Ryu fighters as well as Sagat or Sagat, however the hell you want to pronounce his name, fighters, that tend to do the same bullshit over and over again that just pisses me the fuck off to the point where I always lose against them because I lose my cool. You know who they are. They jump back up into the corner and they keep on throwing fireball after fireball after fireball. And if you jump over them and you get close enough, as soon as you land, they do the low roundhouse kick to knock you over and then keep throwing fireballs and fireballs. Fucking pisses me off. 
best equivalent I have to you of that is those motherfuckers that do that kind of shit there. You know what that equates to? For those of you who uh, like first person shooters, campers. That's right, these fuckers camp in the corner of the game field, do nothing but throw fireballs, and as soon as you get close, they'll do some kind of uh, super attack, or they'll knock you down on your on your ass by doing a low roundhouse kick or something like that, and they're a pain in the ass to beat. But other than that, love the game, love the series, and I hope to get good enough myself so that I can actually enter into a couple of tournaments. Uh, there is the Evo tournament coming up at Palace, or not Palace Station, um, at Caesars coming up in July. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for, I may sign up for it. You know, if I think I can actually get somewhat decent enough to at least get around in a couple rounds. I highly doubt it, but, you know, it'd be fun. Get to meet some uh, famous players and see what happens. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is probably my last one I'm going to put up until after Super Street Fighter 4 comes out because I got some practicing I want to do so that I can get my skills back up for when the game releases. So... Hope you guys enjoyed what you see. Get out there and buy Street Fighter 4 if uh, you're looking for another game to buy. And the fact it's only 40 bucks, it's worth picking it up. That's right, because they're not fucking you over like uh, Microsoft did with ODST. So, have fun, and the fighters aren't your thing. What can I say, man? This is a fighter's video. Peace out.